Hey, welcome to my new house. Okay, so it's not actually my new house. However, here in Nakatee, communities are always growing, being added to, which means it could be your new house. Now you're probably curious what the price tag looks like for an awesome lifestyle like this. And that's exactly what we're talking about in today's video, so come inside and I'll tell you more. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me yet, my name is Sarah. I'm a local real estate expert here in Northeast Florida. Today, we're going to be talking about a couple different topics to help you determine the cost of living right here in Nakati. Now, obviously there's a lot of factors that go into answering that question for you. Today, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple, share with you some of the local knowledge that will help you understand what living in Nakati will cost you. And be sure and watch until the end because we are going to talk specifically about HOA fees, CDD fees, fees, which you're going to want to learn more about. And if you'd like to take a deeper dive into the numbers with my team after watching this video, email us at info at therockagroup.com. We'd be happy to help talk you through what it would look like to get you into your dream home within your budget. So starting off, like I said, there are a lot of things to consider when purchasing a home in Nocatee, and likely the most important thing to you will be housing. Currently, there are 49 different neighborhoods within Nocatee from a variety of different builders such as River, Side, Toll Brothers, and ICI, who is the builder of the home I'm standing in now. All of these neighborhoods have access to the amenities that are located at the Nocatee Welcome Center. That includes two splash parks, a pickleball court, tennis court, a lap swimming pool, and much more. Now we'll talk more about the fees associated with some of those amenities, but let's first start with talking about housing pricing. Now with so many neighborhoods to choose from, all offering different things, there's naturally going to be a difference in pricing. We're starting currently around the 500s all the way up to 2 million, and that will just depend on what the neighborhood itself features. Now, let's talk about taxes. If you're already in Florida, you may wanna skip this section, but with so many people moving from other states into our area, we definitely wanna highlight the tax benefits. One of the advantages of living in Florida, if you're coming from another state, is we don't have state income tax. And as you know, in other states, that income tax can take a significant bite out of your hard earned money. That can be anywhere from 3% up to 13% of your annual earned income. So let's say you make 80,000 annually, you could be approximately keeping in your pocket anywhere from 2,000 to $10,000 a year living in Florida versus another state that has state income tax. Obviously that $2,000 to $10,000 that you're keeping could go a long way towards your down payment for your new home in Nocatee. Now aside from taxes, another thing you're going to want to consider when moving to Florida is definitely our cost of insurance. And you might be privy to the tax benefits, but maybe not quite as informed on the insurance. So while Florida is a very tax friendly state, it might not be quite as friendly on the insurance side. Home and auto insurance are two things we want buyers to consider when moving here. You might not hear a lot of other realtors talk about it, but those two items can be a little bit pricey. And in reality, it's not an expense that most people consider until after they've made the move. So we encourage you to get on the phone, talk to your insurance provider, figure out what those rates will look like so it can be within budget for your new home in Nocatee. Now let's answer the question that you've been waiting to hear about. What are HOA fees? What are CDD fees? And what can you expect to pay for them? These differ per neighborhood, and you may be familiar with HOA, the Homeowners Association fees, That'll take care of front entrance signs, maybe sidewalks, what have you, but you may be less familiar with CDD fees. There are lots ranging from 40 foot, 60 foot, 80 foot, even larger lots, and that's gonna change the price and the cost of that CDD fee. We've seen it anywhere from 1,500 all the way up to beyond 3,000. So you'll see this on your tax bill, and oftentimes it's escrowed in monthly, so that will affect your monthly payment as well. Now, if you have a particular community in mind and you wanna get more hyper-specific on the numbers for that community, please reach out via email. We'd be happy to share those with you. So moving on to HOA fees, there is a wide range of pricing. HOA fees can be seen as low as maybe 350 a year. However, in select neighborhoods, especially those 55 plus communities, you could see as high as about 4,500, depending on what's included. The fees may seem like a lot to you, but when you actually consider the benefits and the amenities, some of the ones I mentioned earlier, such as splash parks, 
dog parks, a lot of green space, tennis courts, pickleball, so much to do. This is essentially why people move to the area. It might be a worthwhile expense to you. Now let's consider some of the things outside of the neighborhoods that might contribute to your overall cost of living. Depending on where you live in Nocatee, because it is a very large community, it could mean a couple different things for you. You really only have a couple grocery stores to choose from, Publix being the main one, and then further south you'll have a Costco for those bigger items. Beyond your grocery expenses, you can find that the restaurant expenses are going to be about average and on par with what you would expect for the area. Now, if you decide that you want to go a little further west to maybe the Durban area and have more chain restaurants, there's that option. Or if you choose to go east towards the ocean and the intercoastal, you'll have some more exclusive dining options as well. On the note of transportation, another expense you're going to have to consider is your vehicle. Nocatee can often feel very far removed from Jacksonville or St. Augustine or other areas for work and play. This can be a benefit to those that live in Nocatee or a deterrent for those that maybe need to travel in to Jacksonville. Jacksonville or St. Augustine and have to incur that expense. Now with so much to do right in the heart of Nocatee, you might want to consider buying a golf cart to get around. It might be a little bit more convenient, maybe a little less costly as well. So with Nocatee being a larger community and rather spread out, these are definitely costs that you're going to want to consider before moving to the area. All right then, well I hope this video was helpful in allowing you to understand the expenses and the cost associated with living in Nocatee. So if you'd like to break down the numbers for your specific budget and you personally. We'd love to sit down with you, chat with you, show you what that could look like. Email us at info at therocogroup.com. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like. And if you're not quite ready to make a move to the area, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd love to keep you informed on all things Northeast Florida, and we'll see you on the next one.